Today we'll take you through the process of appliance testing a piece of Class 1 IT equipment using the Fluke 6500 Mark II. Here we will be testing a PC. The easiest and most effective way to do an appliance test is to use the auto test function. You will see what the predefined auto test sequences include and what you must consider during appliance test. For a class 1 IT appliance, we recommend using the predefined auto test function number 134. If you press the information key, you will see that this auto test sequence includes the following test steps. Visual test, earthbound test, current and leakage test, including a functional test. With the help function, you can check easily which single test steps are performed. All the test steps are performed according to the code of practice. We will start now the auto test sequence for a class one appliance. The 6500 Mark II comes with help screens that support you during the test and show you how to connect the unit under test. It also provides additional links for each test step. The first thing you need to perform is a visual test. Besides the electrical test, the visual test is the most important test. You must check the housing for any damage or defects or anything that might affect the safety of the equipment. For details about this test, the help function can also be used. Confirm the positive outcome of the test by pressing the Yes key. The Fluke 6500R2 goes to the next step, the earth bond test. We will continue the auto test sequence with an earth bond test. Remember, the IEC lead test should be tested separately. The help screens of the 6500 Mark II support you during the test and shows you how to connect the unit under test. Connect the appliance and the test probe to the unit under test. Now start the test. It is not recommended to perform a 25 amp earth bond test on class one IT equipment as the high test current could damage some internal circuits. Now the Fluke 6500 Mark II goes on to the next test step, the insulation test. The appliance test continues with the insulation resistance test. Here you can see how the unit under test must be connected. Remove the probe We also need to switch on the appliance to reach all the internal circuits during the test before we continue. We start the insulation test while the appliance is switched on and see that the result has passed. Now the Fluke 6500 Mark II goes on to the next test step, the load test. To complete the test, the safety label and warnings should be checked. Now we can save the test results to the memory for further documentation. You can enter the data by using the internal keyboard. The reference number for each test is the appliance identification number, which we enter first. We can also enter additional data like department, equipment description, and a remark. With one key press, the data is saved into the internal memory. To mark the test appliance, we stick a test label on the equipment. The label with the next test date, when the next test is due, is already marked. The Fluke 6500 Mark II leads you through the test procedure, supporting you at every step of the way and gives you clear statements about the pass and fail.